rolling. Give us a little clap. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, members and friends, how time flies. Uh, both long and short term. It feels like yesterday was still kind of the 1980s for some of us, maybe. Um, <laughs> and it also feels like yesterday was the beginning of 2023. This year has flown by, but at the same time has been so rich in experiences and so many enjoyable moments through the SMWS. It's been so good to meet so many new members this year. It's been great to uh, connect with so many existing members, long-term members, people who love our events, people who love our bottlings, people who love our virtuals, and people who love reading unfiltered and outturn all the goodies that we put up, including videos like this one. Today, we are talking about December all to the month. Now, some of you are gonna say, wait, there's a December outturn? Yes, there is. It's a smaller outturn. It's just, we call it a summer top up internally, if you like. It's just, a, it's a good opportunity to put some extra casks out right near the end of the year. Cause we put out so many whiskies in November. Like it's such a huge month for us. It's our bumper issue. The, just, the November outturn is of course still for sale. We've still got lots of goodies available and lots of casks still up on the site, including both, both malt of the month and premium malt of the month. However, Something, something a bit maverick and something a bit fun to release in December as Mortal of the Month is cask 144.5. So the fifth ever cask the Society Tasting Panel has approved to bottle from Distillery 144. Distillery 144 is not a Scottish whiskey. It's not an Irish whiskey. It's not an American whiskey. It's not a Japanese whiskey, but it is a Swedish single cask, single malt whiskey. This is really exciting. Unpeated spirit, deep, rich and dried fruits profile, eight years of, old, eight years of age in cask in a first fill X Sherry Hogshead, and it's called 1980s Roast Dinners. That was my reference just before about how the 1980s, it's, this is a throwback bottling. And it's that throwback to that sort of like 1980s roast that your uh, parents or grandparents made in that, in that time of sort of like, um, yeah, it had a certain aroma of that grave ox and gravlax and um, uh, gelatin, <laughs> maybe, you know, so it's a bit of a throwback whiskey. It's meant to invoke those flavors of yesteryear. But let's talk about Sweden. Sweden are making some great whiskies. Some people would have noticed some uh, more recent other Swedish distillery. The code of which escapes me this very moment. 151, 152, somewhere around there. Um, anyway, we have both had, we have peated and unpeated spirit. There's a 13-year-old call. Uh, look, memory escapes me at the moment. But we've also had some great 144s through, but all peated. So this is the first unpeated 144 we've seen through the society. Get the cap off this one. First time opening it, first time tasting it for me as well. So let's have, let's have a go. This is very, we'll come back to that. Oh, it's, it's, oh, I've dropped the cork. I haven't had any, haven't anything to drink today, don't worry. Um, this, this is the um, first time I'm tasting this as well. Um, very dark, very richly sherried straight away in the glass. Mmm. Let's talk about, I'm gonna let that open up for a second. Let's talk about um, this distillery. I'm gonna try my hardest not to say the name. Distillery 144 is right on the banks of the Angerman River in Sweden. They run a very clear wort. They run a very long ferment. Their whiskey, their style of whiskey is closer to Japan than it is Scotland in style. That clear wort, long ferment kind of style whiskey. Uh, and this is, I guess, quite unusual in terms of the fact that it is it's a very richly sherried whiskey from the distillery, which is not what they're renowned for. They're renowned for their ex-bourbon casks and some ex-wine casks. I know what the panel means by um, 1980s roast dinners. It's immediately quite, uh, what's the word for it? So yeah, it's got that like roast lamb, gravy, rich old sherry, but in a new world style, if that makes sense. It is very Japanese in profile as well. That very sort of like, like uh, s slow ferments, slow matur slow brewing, slow uh, maturation. Mm. Sixty three point four percent, but it doesn't drink like it. it. Drinks very relaxed, very soft, rich like. It's got heaps of old school sherry notes. That is a lovely, it's it's a modern sherry whiskey in some ways. Like it's got that modern sherry whiskey like a distillery eight or something like that. It's a bit more sort of like immediately quite strong on the sherry, but other times it's, it's got this lovely old school like 1980s vibe to it, which is just delightful. 
So that is Malt of the Month, a Swedish single cask single malt whiskey that's a richly sherried bottle, perfect for the Christmas table uh, next month in December. December Outturn is Friday the 8th of December and it goes live at midday Australian Eastern Daylight Savings Time. So hope to see you at Outturn. Hope you get to open something rather special from the new world of whiskey making out of uh, all the way up in Sweden and join us for our final smaller outturn of the year. Sanjava, cheers. Thank you so much. Thank you for a wonderful year and we'll see you all soon. Cheers.